The Indian Independence Act 1947 c. 30, 10 and 11. Geo. 6, is an act of the Parliament of the United Kingdom that partitioned British India into the two new independent dominions of India and Pakistan. The act received the royal assent on 18 July 1947, and thus Pakistan and India came into being on 15 August. The Legisla after representatives of the Indian National Congress, the Muslim League, and the Sikh community came to an agreement with Lord Mountbatten on what has come to be known as the 3rd of June Plan or Mountbatten Plan. This plan was the last plan for independence. Topic Background Topic Atlee's announcement The Prime Minister of the United Kingdom announced on the twentieth of February, nineteen forty seven, that the British government would grant full self-government to British India by 30 June 1948 at the latest. The future of the princely states would be decided after the date of final transfer is decided. <laughs> future of the princely states Attlee wrote to Mountbatten on 18 March 1947, It is, of course, important that the Indian states should adjust their relations with the authorities to whom it is intended to hand over power in British India, but as was explicitly stated by the Cabinet mission His Majesty's government do not intend to hand over their powers and obligations under paramountcy to any successor government. It is not intended to bring paramountcy as a system to a conclusion earlier than the date of the final transfer of power, but you are authorized, at such time as you think appropriate, to enter into negotiations with individual states for adjusting their relations with the Crown. The 3rd of June Plan This was also known as the Mountbatten Plan. The British government proposed a plan announced on 3 June 1947 that included these principles Principle of the partition of British India was accepted by the British government Successor governments would be given dominion status Provisions The Act's most important provisions were Division of British India into the two new and fully sovereign dominions of India and Pakistan, with effect from 15 August 1947. Partition of the provinces of Bengal and Punjab between the two new countries. Establishment of the office of Governor-General in each of the two new countries, as representatives of the Crown. Conferral of complete legislative authority upon the respective constituent assemblies of the two new countries. Termination of British suzerainty over the princely states, with effect from 15 August 1947, and recognised the right of states to remain independent or accede to either dominion Abolition of the use of the title, ''Emperor of India'' by the British monarch this was subsequently executed by King George VI by royal proclamation on the 22nd of June 1948 the act also made provision for the division of joint property etc between the two new countries including in particular the division of the armed forces topic salient features two new dominion states two new dominions were to emerge from the indian empire pakistan and india the Dominion of India may be regarded as an expression of the desire for self-government of the Hindus, and the Dominion of Pakistan as the expression of the demand for self-government by the Muslims. Appointed date, 15 August 1947 was declared as the appointed date for the partition. Territories, Pakistan, East Bengal, West Punjab, Sindh, and Chief Commissioner's Province of Baluchistan. The fate of North West Frontier Province was subject to the result of referendum. Bengal and Assam, the province of Bengal is constituted under the Government of India Act 1935 ceased to exist, in lieu thereof two new provinces were to be constituted, to be known respectively as East Bengal and West Bengal. The fate of District Silhet, in the province of Assam, was to be decided in a referendum. 
Punjab, the province as constituted under the Government of India Act 1935 ceased to exist. Two new provinces were to be constituted, to be known respectively as West Punjab and East Punjab. The boundaries of the new provinces were to be determined, whether before or after the appointed date, by the award of a boundary commission to be appointed by the Governor General. Constitution for the new dominions, until the time of framing of new constitution, the new dominions and the provinces thereof were to be governed by the Government of India Act 1935. Temporary provisions as to the government of each new dominion, the Governors General of the new dominions, for each of the new dominion a new Governor General was to be appointed by the Crown, subject to the law of the legislature of either of the new dominions. Same person as Governor General of both Dominions, if unless and until provision to the contrary was made by a law of the legislature of either of the new Dominions, the same person could be the Governor General of both. Powers of Governor General, Section 9 The Governor General was empowered to bring this act in force. Division of territories, powers, duties, rights, assets, liabilities, etc., was the responsibility of Governor General to adopt, amend, Government of India Act 1935, as the Governor General may consider it necessary. Power to introduce any change was until 31 March 1948, after that it was open to the Constituent Assembly to modify or adopt the same act. Temporary provisions as to the government of each new dominion, Governor General had full powers to give assent to any law. Legislation for the new dominions, the existing legislative setup was allowed to continue as constitution making body as well as a legislature. Temporary provisions as to the government of each new dominion, the legislature of each dominion was given full powers to make laws for that dominion, including laws having extraterritorial operation. No Act of Parliament of UK passed after the appointed date would be extended to the territories of new dominions. No law and provision of any law made by the legislature of the new dominions shall be void or inoperative on the ground that it is repugnant to the law of England. The Governor-General of each dominion had full powers to give assent in His Majesty's name to any law of the legislature. Configuration of Pakistan's Constitution Assembly Cap I, 69 members of the Central Legislature plus 10 immigrant members equals 79 Consequences of setting up of the New Dominions, His Majesty's Government lost all the responsibility to the New Dominions The suzerainty of His Majesty's Government over the Indian states lapsed. All the treaties or agreements with the Indian states and the tribal areas that were in force at the passing of the Act lapsed. The title of Emperor of India was dropped from the titles of British Crown. The office of Secretary of State for India was abolished and the provisions of GOI Act 1935 relating to the appointments to the civil service or civil posts under the Crown by the Secretary of the State ceased to operate civil servants. Section 10 provided for the continuance of service of the government servants appointed on or before the 15th of August 1947 under the governments of New Dominions with full benefits. Armed Forces, Sections 11, 12, and 13 dealt with the future of Indian Armed Forces. A partition committee was formed on 7 June 1947, with two representatives from each side and the Viceroy in the chair, to decide about the division thereof. As soon as the process of partition was to start it was to be replaced by a partition council with a similar structure. First and second schedules, first schedule listed the districts provisionally included in the new province of East Bengal, Chittagong Division, districts of Chittagong, Chittagong Hill Tracts, Nokali and Tipura. Dhaka Division, districts of Bakarganj, Dhaka, Faridpur, and Mimesing. Presidency Division, districts of Jessore except Bangan Tessel, and Kustia and Merpur Tessils of Nadia District Rajshahi Division, districts of Bogra, Dinajpur except Raiganj and Balarghat Tessel, Rajshahi, Rangpur and Nawabganj Tessel of Malda District. Second schedule listed the districts provisionally included in the new province of West Punjab, Lahore Division, districts of Gujranwala, Lahore except Paddy Tessel, Shikapura, Sialkot and Shikargar Tessel of Gurdaspur District. Rawal Pindi Division, districts of Atak, Gurat, Jhelum, Rawal Pindi and Shapur. Multan Division, districts of Dara Ghazi Khan, Jang, Lyalpur, Montgomery, Multan and Muzaffargar. Partition There was much violence, and many Muslims from what would become India fled to Pakistan, and Hindus and Sikhs from what would become Pakistan fled to India. Many people left behind all their possessions and property to avoid the violence and flee to their new country.
Topic: Princely States. On 4 June 1947 Mountbatten held a press conference in which he addressed the question of the princely states, of which there were over 570. The treaty relations between Britain and the Indian states would come to an end, and on 15 August 1947 the suzerainty of the British Crown was to lapse. They would be free to accede to one or the other of the new dominions or to remain independent. India Lord Mountbatten of Burma, the last viceroy, was asked by the Indian leaders to continue as the Governor-General of India. Jawaharlal Nehru became the Prime Minister of India and Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel became the Home Minister. Over 560 princely states acceded to India by 15 August. The exceptions were Junagadh, Hyderabad and Jammu and Kashmir. The state of Jammu and Kashmir, which was contiguous to both India and Pakistan but, its Hindu ruler chose to remain initially independent. Following a Pakistani tribal invasion, he acceded to India on 26 October 1947, and the state became a dispute between India and Pakistan. The state of Junagadh initially acceded to Pakistan but faced a revolt from its Hindu population. Following a breakdown of law and order, its Dewan requested India to take over the administration on 8 November 1947. India conducted a referendum in the state on 20 February 1948, in which the people voted overwhelmingly to join India. The state of Hyderabad, with majority Hindu population but Muslim ruler, faced an intense turmoil and sectarian violence. India invaded the state on 13 September 1948, following which the ruler of the state signed the instrument of accession, joining India. <laughs> Pakistan Muhammad Ali Jinnah became the Governor-General of Pakistan, and Liaquat Ali Khan became the Prime Minister of Pakistan. Between October 1947 and March 1948 the rulers of several Muslim-majority states signed an instrument of accession to join Pakistan. These included AMB, Bahawalpur, Chitral, DIR, Khalid, Kharpur, Karan, Las Bella, Makran, and Swat. Repeal <inaudible> 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 The Indian Independence Act was subsequently repealed in Article 395 of the Constitution of India and in Article 221 of the Constitution of Pakistan of 1956, both constitutions being intended to bring about greater independence for the new states. Although, under British law, the new constitutions did not have the legal authority to repeal the Act, the repeal was intended to establish them as independent legal systems based only on homegrown legislation. The Act has not been repealed in the United Kingdom, where it still has effect, although some sections of it have been repealed. See also Indian independence movement Pakistan movement Political integration of India Notes External links Indian Independence Bill, 1947. Indian Independence Act 1947 C.30. PDF. Original statute from the UK Statute Law Database. Office of Public Sector Information, National Archives, UK. Retrieved 30 April 2010. Indian Independence Act 1947 C.30 Revised statute from the UK Statute Law Database. Office of Public Sector Information, National Archives, UK. Archived from the original on 15 October 2008. Retrieved 2 June 2008.